The U.S. is the current epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic, but it's a very different reality just across the border in Canada. CNN's Paula Newton has more. For Canada, it's been a hallmark of the pandemic, empty hospitals. The feared wave of COVID patients never happened. Canada started out much like the United States, but as the COVID curve climbed, Canada crushed it. Now seeing on average just a few hundred new positive cases a day. That means right now, the U.S. is reporting more than 10 times more positive cases per capita than Canada. And yet no one here is declaring mission accomplished. What uh, the situation we're seeing in the United States uh, and elsewhere highlights for us is that even as our economy is reopening, we need to make sure we are continuing to remain vigilant, individually and collectively. Vigilance has been the watchword. Early and widespread testing, a free healthcare system still building surge capacity, longer shutdowns, slower reopenings, social distancing. And there is no controversy over wearing masks. Most see it as their duty. I uh, wear it for myself and others. It protects them from me and me from them. Uh, just, it's just uh, respectable to like, uh, be respectful to other people. Right from the top down, they're leading by example in terms of their use of masks. British Columbia's top doctor acted as the country's early warning system, successfully managing the very first outbreaks and proving it could be done. A lot of it comes down to cohesiveness, being able to provide the information that people needed to do what we needed them to do. And that has held up as we've gone into uh, opening up things again. People still are, are adhering to the basics to try and ensure that we still keep each other safe. Dr. Henry points to something else that was critical, keeping politics out of the response. Here's a conservative leader praising the Liberal Deputy Prime Minister. Christia Freeland, uh, what can I say? She's an absolute champion. It would be like a Democratic governor calling Vice President Mike Pence their hero. In general, we were all coming together. Uh, we had the same basic information for people. And the politicians um, made the right decisions based on advice, and, and that helped us. Also critically important, the U.S.-Canada border remains closed to all but essential travel, and anyone entering Canada right now must quarantine for 14 days. And the EU has deemed Canadians as safe for entry, unlike Americans. And yet here, too, missteps have had tragic consequences. More than 8,500 people have died, the vast majority of the deaths linked to crowded and poorly staffed seniors' homes seen a lot of bad stuff happen, but I don't remember anything with this level of sadness. Prime Minister Trudeau admits it's been a national shame. And in that contrition, Canadians see a willingness to recalibrate the country's response to the virus based on an unwavering deference to science. Yeah, Jim, at every turn, they have tried to defer the science. I mean, Jim, I, I don't want to act as if the response in Canada was perfect. It wasn't. And thousands of Canadians have paid the price, especially Canadian seniors. But when things weren't going right, even in nursing homes, they called in the military. Not a perfect solution, but a realization that they had made a mistake. And the differences are really stark. You know, tomorrow's 4th of July. Canada Day was on Wednesday. On Canada Day, Justin Trudeau went to a food bank, and that was it. The celebrations have moved um, online months ago. Uh, and now, you know, in terms of what they're dealing with today and tomorrow, so many health professionals worry about the repercussions of July 4th. And I can tell you, Jim, there are a lot of Americans very close to that Canadian border watching this right now and thinking, why not us? Why could we not crush that curve? Absolutely. And when we just showed that graph a few moments ago, Paul, you may not be able to see it on your end. Uh, the contrast between the United States and Canada separated only by a border. Uh, but it seems so much more these days as our curve is skyrocketing and the one up in Canada is flatlining. Paula Newton, thank you very much for us uh, t taking us up to uh, see how things are going up in Canada. We appreciate it. Coming up next, President Trump planning to speak tonight about...